वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन टिक हिस्ट्री बुक चैप्टर थ्री द अमेरिकन वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द क्वेश्चन आंसर एंड एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर टिक पेज नंबर थर्टी सेवन एक्सरसाइज ए फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स नंबर वन बाय द मेड एटीन सेंचुरी ब्रिटिश कॉलोनीज वे एस्टेब्लिश अलॉन्ग द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका नंबर टू The colonist argued with the British government and refused to pay taxes as they had no representation in the British Parliament. Number three, the main reason the colonies started rebelling against their mother country, Britain, was the target of the issue. Number four, the Townshend Acts were packed on imports of tea, paper, glass, and paint. Number five. In 1776 the representative of the colonies met at Philadelphia and adopted a declaration of independence Now match the column Number 1 Sugar Act answer 1764 Number 2 Boston Tea Party answer 1773 Number 3 The Treaty of Paris answer 1784 number 4 Federal Constitutional Reorganized answer 1789 number 5 Bills of Right answer 1791 Exercise C choose the correct option number 1 The Seven Years War was between Answer: Britain and France. Number two, the king regarded the dash as an act of rebellion and declared war against the colonies. Answer: Boston Tea Party. Number three, dash drafted the Declaration of Independence. Answer: Thomas Jefferson. Number four, which of the following acts was imposed on the colonies, which meant They had to pay extra tax to the East India Company. Answer: Indemnity Act. Number five. Which of the following acts made affixation of revenue stamps on and legal documents mandatory? Answer: Stamp Act. Now let me give you the question answers of this chapter. Question one. How were the British colonies in Amer- America governed? Answer: In America. Each colony had its assembly of elected representatives which made its own law and did taxes as these were british colonies the british government appointed a governor in each of these colonies whose main task was to promote british interest instead of promoting the interest of the colonies furthermore the british government enforced high taxes and many restrictions on free business and commerce number 2 Why were the American colonies refused to pay taxes imposed by the British government? Answer: The British government forced the American colonies to pay heavy taxes and made many restrictions on free business and commerce as the British government's main task was to promote British interest instead of the colonists and so the American colonies refused to pay taxes imposed by the British government. Number 3. Why did the Stamp Act mean How did it affect the colonies? Answer: The Stamp Act was passed by the British government in the year 1764. According to this act, it was mandatory to affix revenue stamps on all legal documents. The merchants and the manufacturers of the colonies refused to pay the tax required to get the revenue stamps and question Britain's legal power to impose taxes on them as they had no representation in the British Parliament. They opposed the act and protested with the slogan "No taxation without representation" against the British and forced the British Parliament to withdraw the Stamp Act. Question four: Whose ideas inspired and influenced the American revolutionaries? How? Answer: The American revolutionaries were influenced by the ideas of the modern European philosophers like John Locke, Thomas Mann, and John Milton, who inspired them to fight against colonial rule. to obtain liberty Thomas Jefferson stated that the american people had the right to revolt against an unjust government Thomas Paine guided people through his articles on overthrowing the british colonial government european philosophers and thinkers influenced 
Americans to fight against the British rule. Question 5. What was the significance of the second congress held at Philadelphia in 1776? Answer. The Second Congress held at Philadelphia in 1776 adopted the Declaration of Independence. This Declaration of Independence contained revolutionary ideas that declared that all people were equal by birth and were endowed with rights such as the rights of rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It stated that the colonists had the right to be free and independent and to make their own government. Question 6. How did the various acts imposed on the colonies became a major reason for the outbreak of the revolution? Answer. The various acts imposed on the colonies resulted in open antagonism between the colonists and the British Parliament. The representatives from the colonies assembled at Philadelphia in 1774 and prepared a petition that demanded the withdrawal of all taxes levied on the 13 colonies. The representation appealed to King George III to withdraw all unjust and oppressive acts but the appeal was dismissed and a war was declared against the 13 colonies. Number 7. Which particular incident sparked of the American War of Independence? What was its importance in the revolution? Answer. The Boston Tea Party sparked of the American War of Independence. The Tea Act gave the East India Company a monopoly on the tea trade. Only the East India Company was permitted to export tea to the American colonies. This led to an open revolt by the colonies. A group of colonies raided British ships loaded with tax tea in the Boston Harbor and destroyed the tea by throwing the containers into the sea. This incident was an open protest against the new taxes. In reprisal, the British Parliament closed the ports of Boston which remained closed till the Bostonians repaid the British East India company the damages they had caused during the Boston Tea Party. This resulted in open protest against, uh, against the colonists and the British Parliament. Question 8. What were the causes of the American Revolution? Answer. Following were the causes of the American Revolution. Number 1. Economic exploitation. Number 2. Restriction on expansion of colonies. Number 3. Impositions of new taxes. Now, take out your diary, write chapter 3, the American War of Independence, question answers and exercises given, homework, write down in your history copy. And with this, I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.